Hi, today we are going to explain about a very nice large language model application tool that uh, is called Flowwise, which is totally open source. So, and it's it's a tool as like a no code, low code based tool. So, very easily you can develop applications uh, with the help of this tool and uh, for the application for the large language models and uh, here you see it is uh, developing LLM apps uh, and takes countless with a, uh, takes countless iteration and uh, very good for uh, production also and uh, uh, it it is uh, it is based on Langchain Llama index and there are many other integration uh, with it and also also there are many other tools that you can uh, use it and many other open large language models you can you can uh, in, uh, apply and uh, apply and use it like uh, Lama 2, Mistral, Vicuna of course of course uh, this uh, OpenAI and other uh, proprietary uh, proprietary language models you can you can use also also you can host it in your local machine plus on the cloud so here uh, we will we i will show how to make a simple application of a chatbot with a pdf with the multilingual this is the first interface then when i uh, go and add a new one uh, if we see if we if we just uh, write like pdf uh, multilingual multilingual chat bot so the reason we do we we have Englishes English and other languages but multilingual because uh, we we found find sometimes many documents that are that are used in many other languages and also then uh, we need to translate it but translation is not always accurate and didn't get and while while it is very big document it is not very easy to translate and read line by line and but when we have this kind of chatbot we put the uh, chatbot into uh, the uh, pdf uh, a pdf file um, so for example uh, we will put a swedish file uh, and uh, it we will ask and chat with this file and ask many questions and also also give some uh, uh, we will provide some other other uh, questions uh, we, you will see so here you will see there we have to uh, put nodes and the first node that we would like to have it is uh, uh, chat chat and uh, what uh, there are many many chat uh, chat nodes that you can use but we will use chat co here and uh, and also also because uh, just a minute uh, go here co here embedding also so this why why co here co here uh, let's uh, talk about little bit of co here co here is a uh, yeah. it has a lot of mod models like models uh, different models and uh, embedding and re-ranking re-ranking models so you will use this coherent although this is not totally free but very very minimum expense uh, it is and uh, also you can use uh, for the uh, you can use the trial basis um, so you do not need to have this uh, production ready uh, api so that uh, that you need to pay so for example we will use this one embed a multilingual uh, version 3 mo uh, 3 model which is uh, which is the dimension is uh, the vectorizing dimension is uh, 1024 which is very good and uh, maximum token it can it can handle uh, is 512 and the similarity technology or similarity uh, 
when it is finding the similarity they it uses cosine similarity and the supporting no, uh, languages if you see uh, these are the supporting languages more than 100 more than 100 languages so as as we are talking about the swedish also it is it is uh, it, it is accepted in Swe uh, swedish language is also accepted so let's let's use this one and for the for example for the api i have already fixed the api here so uh, you have to you have to put it uh, let's uh, you have to put it here like how to put it like here you have to add yeah it's not i don't know why why it's not uh, but um, maybe there is some there is some problem with this so but uh, the, in the credentials you can put you can put your uh, uh, apis api credentials so for example add new credentials so there are many other uh, many many tools that you can integrate uh, with this uh, with this flow wise so here we we are doing go here and uh, in not english we will use uh, multilingual three and uh, we our search is uh, search query there are a lot of other thing four other things but we will stick with that which uses uh, when the query uh, query your vector db and find the relevant document so that is what we are we are thinking to do and also this one and we will uh, there are two models so we uh, this is common r model which is which is a, a chat model that we we would like to use so i i put this one and then we have to upload our pdf upload our pdf file let me, let me minimize this one i hope the screen is good so you can you can read it it's better now then we upload so what we we wanted to upload is a is a is a barn moth uh, is a file which is talking about uh, the children children food habit full of uh, children food habit in swedish which is according to the uh, 1177 uh, website uh, in sweden which is very which is uh, like uh, in in england that is uh, nhs that like nhs has is uh, the whole healthcare healthcare facility is uh, uh, done by nhs so this is like 1177 is one of our our swedish uh, main main site where people people can go and find and book and uh, it's all everything everything related to healthcare so they have also information uh, information there so the the information is information is collected from there so maybe we can we can show you some uh, some yeah show you the yeah uh, moth or drink for barn so the uh, food and drink habit for for the children uh, so uh, up to one year uh, what they should eat and uh, yeah this is up to one and then it is uh, for one to six year what they should eat this is kind of information is uh, it's uh, about I don't know about 24 page of documents so okay uh, we we have it and then we we need to embed embed that uh, that document and uh, we have to put it in a, in a uh, vector store and for the vector store we will use um, files files is a uh, is a very good local uh, vector store that you can uh, put uh, you can store it locally which uh, files is developed by facebook which is uh, of course now meta and then uh, we will now connect it so we will uh, vectorize this we will vectorize this in and, and store it in the path of is uh, store it uh, somewhere uh, 
in our in our uh, in our server what is now which um, we have put in render render is another another uh, cloud service that I am using you can put it if you install it in your local machine you can put it in your local machine like C drive D drive wherever you want and uh, We can put it in right now. We can name it like 1177 child. Uh -huh. And uh, then we need to, because as as we see our our model, as you remember, yeah, we showed our model supported uh, embedding model does not support too much uh, too much of uh, uh, tokens maximum token is uh, uh, 512 so when while we are oh, sorry while while we are chunking uh, while we are chunking uh, the the our file uh, while we are chunking we have to uh, split the text into into small chunks so so that uh, uh, our our large language model can handle handle uh, handle this so we will do it like 500 and chunk uh, overlap is 50 so uh, 50 is the overlapping so that it can go over the the chunk so like 50 character this 50 chunks this way and 50 chunks this way so like that and then we then we, we add the uh, then we add the buffer because we want our uh, we our, our chat application to remember what what uh, the what it's uh, what the user asked before and uh, then uh, the real conversational uh, retrieval chain that we you, we need to put so here is the model cohere model sorry. we need to connect oh, sorry we need to connect like this and the vector store And we, we wanted to we wanted to show the source so this is this is uh, this is the this is the flow that uh, uh, we we need to need to think about while while we uh, while we chat with our our PDF document so and here we see you see uh, there is a new new uh, button has come and it is it is is called upsert vector database so we we uh, embed our pdf document uh, using cohere embedding as because as we, it is multilingual and we have a swedish text document so it, and it will store the vec database here in this folder uh, vector uh, vector database in this folder and so to put it we need to upsert it is called upsert so first we the first thing we need to upsert the document and uh, then we put the upsert so it, it will take some time maybe uh, maybe not uh, depending on the on the size of the document i will i will come back when uh, when it is finished this is finished now and uh, upsert record is finished and we we see that 119 added so as as you see as we see uh, 500 as a chunks so the total document is uh, chunked into 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 119 chunks so and it and it is stored in the in the in this uh, files uh, database in this folder so now if we if we wanted to see and uh, wanted to uh, wanted to chat with this and uh, maybe we can chat 
try to chat with uh, this this button this is the chat button for example let's uh, let's chat what a uh, uh, let's chat uh, maybe maybe we can we can see if uh, Maybe we start with what is the document about? Let's see. Sorry for my spelling mistake. It says the document is about different type of fats and roles they play on our diet. Uh -huh. Fats and role. It includes and 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 here you will see this is the sources it it shows the four sources. So here from here this chunk uh, from line two twenty two to uh, two twenty eight, it is uh, showing uh, the this one, uh, and from here it it has found page content and uh, yeah. Uh, Like what should I feed my uh, six months old baby? Six months old baby in uh, like gross milk, which is Swedish of the bear's milk. Bear's milk provides necessary nutrition uh, and fibers and many many other things. It it it, uh, it says and this is this is the formula. And uh, of course of course you can you can chat this thing uh, in with uh, for example chat GPT and things like. But it it can hallucinate a lot and uh, not only hallucinate and because chat GPT collects all the information from different sources and give you a uh, who but but he in this app type of application you will only 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 chat with the document uh, what you have provided so the the information which you are asking you are asking this document document and when it is retrieving uh, then it is using the information from the document and with the help of large language model it just only only uh, help you organize uh, the languages languages not the inf real information or the real knowledge so if you if you like to uh, add uh, ask many other things you can also of course of course do that and uh, in in, in our, our next video uh, we can we can provide how to how to how can we integrate this one this chat with our uh, with our uh, website so that uh, people can people can chat with uh, this uh, on, online so thank you for listening and uh, thank you and have a good day thank you bye bye